Okay, I wanted to do this video just to kind of explain Israel um, and also to give you just a better understanding as you're reading through the Old Testament and even the New Testament in places. But just kind of knowing the foundations of Israel helps a whole lot in kind of what terminology is used in regard to them. So you've got Israel, um, which we've all heard about the 12 tribes of Israel, right? And so what are the 12 tribes of Israel? They are the 12 sons of Jacob. So you know the founders of our faith is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God was with each of them. And I, it says that Jacob wrestled with God one night, and after the wrestling match, um, he came forth and God renamed him Israel. So when you're talking about the nation of Israel, it really became that because Jacob was renamed Israel, and it was his 12 sons that were given land, the land of Israel, and it was divided up into 12 pieces for each son. And so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you've got the 12 sons, right? So um, the only one that really didn't get any land, like it was divided into 12 pieces, but the Levites, the tribe of Levi, the son, um, they didn't get a piece of land because they were going to be the tribe that was going to be the high priests. So they were going to have roles amongst all the tribes. So all of the tribes were told that they needed to share everything with the Levites. And so the Levites were kind of interdispersed amongst all the different tribes. So they didn't really get a plot of land. So this plot of land is actually not in there. But what happened was um, Joseph, uh, Joseph was one of the sons of Jacob. And we all know what happened in the story of Joseph. He was um, exiled and uh, from his brothers and had to be a slave and had dreams and you know the whole story. So Joseph was like an honored son and God honored him for his, his last work and he said, you'll get a double portion of land. And whenever he did, he died and he gave it to his sons. He had two sons. So here's your extra piece of land. There was Ephraim and Manasseh. So uh, I'll just write in Ephraim and Manasseh. So there's your tw 12 pieces of land with this one removed. And so these, these are just kind of interdispersed amongst all of them. Well, what happened is all these tribes, each, each brother had a piece of land with his family and there it, was, it became their tribe. They kind of gotten in dis a, dis a disagreement with each other. And so what happened was um, they divided. So they had a disagreement and they divided. And I'm, I'm going through the Levites because some of the Levites obviously were in these tribes and some of them were in these tribes. So the Levites, some were on the northern and some were on the southern. So this became the northern kingdom of Israel. And this became the southern kingdom. So... Um, so what happened was they divided. Well, God wasn't really pleased with either of them. And so through the prophets, he told them, you're going to be exiled because of your dis disobedience. And so what happened is both, tr both tribes, I mean, both kingdoms went into exile. They both went into exile. Um, the northern kingdom went into exile to Assyria. And the southern kingdom, these two, and a little bit of the Levites, went into exile to Babylon. So, today, or actually when Jesus was around, um, the northern kingdom, even today, hasn't been able to come back, couldn't come back from exile. They are still in exile. Oops, back. They are still in exile today. Um, but the southern kingdom was able to came, come back, so they were able to come back. So when Jesus was around and walking on the earth, the only Jewish people that really understood they were Jewish, uh, knew their heritage, all of that, were these two tribes, which were Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, and the tribe of Judah. Okay, so these, these tribes were around uh, in Jesus' time. 
So, like in the Old Testament, whenever you're reading, it's kind of confusing because in the Old Testament, instead of just saying the northern kingdom of Israel, they, I guess they had kind of lingo among them. And so they would just call the northern kingdom, they would call it the house of Israel. So when you see house of Israel, it doesn't necessarily mean all 12 tribes. It usually means just the northern kingdom. And so that house of really kind of points you to that means the northern kingdom or sometimes the northern kingdom is called Ephraim one of the sons of Joseph which is kind of confusing so the whole northern tribe almost got associated with just him um, through time so if you're reading along the prophets and it talks about Ephraim or the house of Israel it's usually referring to the the northern kingdom and so if you're reading through the Old Testament and it refers to the house of Judah or sometimes just Judah um, that's referring to the southern kingdom. So even though Benjamin was in there, it got associated with just Judah. So, okay, so Jesus' time, um, the only Jewish people who really knew their heritage were from some of the Levites, Benjamin and Judah. And so you've got uh, people like Mary, who were from the tribe of Judah and Joseph and Jesus, and even David, of course from the Old Testament. He was from the tribe of Judah, and that was the kingly tribe, where the Levites were the priestly tribe, and so uh, John the Baptist, he was from the tribe of Levi. John the Baptist. So like when, when John the Baptist was saying, behold, the Lamb of God has come to take away your sins, he was, from, he was doing his role as the high priest. So what he was doing was he was saying, because it was his job as the high priest to point out the Passover lamb for Passover. He was the one that approved those Passover lambs. And so he was pointing to Jesus saying, he is your Passover lamb. Behold the lamb of God who's going to take away your sins. So he was doing his role as part of the tribe of Levi to be the high priest to point to the lamb. And... Um, so kind of knowing this is interesting. And then uh, Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, that's, that's like Paul in the New Testament. So you see these tribes associated with people in the New Testament, but you don't really see any of these tribes associated because these people, they never came back from, from exile, even today. And so today, these are called, these, this northern kingdom is called the Ten Lost Tribes of Israel. So like in Romans when it talks about how the Christians are going to make the Jews jealous and make them come back from all of the nations where they've been scattered, it's talking about these ten lost tribes of Israel that they're going to come back in the end times. And so this just gives you kind of a, a better understanding of um, kind of how that's all laid out in the Old New Testament, some of the terminology, and I hope that lets you Read through the Bible in a clear way.